The forward head and rounded shoulders, as well as the Donald Duck butt posture, are all too common in today's society. Many of us don't realize how our posture has deteriorated until we see a picture of ourselves. If you're worried about your posture, don't fret. I have a new and approved 5-minute posture routine that I guarantee will help you fix this problem in no time. Now, let's take a moment to understand how you ended up in this predicament. The problem lies in the fact that most people spend an average of 6 to 8 hours a day sitting down. And when they do, they tend to adopt a slouched posture like this one. However, many individuals don't feel the need to correct their posture because they believe that slouching isn't necessarily a bad thing. In fact, some studies suggest that it can even help you focus better. As I write this script, I must admit that I too am currently in a slouched position. The issue is that many individuals tend to remain in a hunched over posture for prolonged periods every day. Unfortunately, our bodies are designed to adapt to our movements and postures over time. As a result, certain muscles may tighten up while others weaken, making it easier for us to maintain this hunched over posture. To reverse this, we'll need to use 5 simple yet effective exercises that target different parts of the body. We'll begin by focusing on the upper body, specifically the chest and shoulder muscles. The first exercise aims to open up these tight muscles, and we can use a towel, blanket, or broomstick for this. However, I strongly recommend using a band instead, as it is more effective. If you're interested in the band that I'm using for these exercises, you can find a link to it in the description box below. To begin with the first exercise, place your hands inside the band with your palms facing away from the sides of your thighs. However, if you're using a towel or broomstick, simply grab it with a wide overhand grip in front of your thighs. Keep your arms straight and slowly move them in a circular motion, lifting them up and behind your body. As you do this, allow your shoulder blades and traps to shrug up slightly on the way up. Then, let your shoulder blades come down and back as your arms travel behind your body. One of the benefits of using a band for this exercise is that you can adjust its width by pulling it apart during the spots where you feel tightness. However, if your body is very tight, you may find that you want to cheat by arching your lower back. To prevent this, engage your core muscles while performing the exercise. Additionally, you might notice some clicking in your shoulder or that you can't keep one of your arms fully straight. This is entirely normal and will improve with time. Once the initial grip becomes too easy, you can deepen the stretch by looping the band around your palms to shorten it or by taking a narrower grip if you're using a stick or towel. When it comes to the number of sets and reps to perform, we'll cover that at the end of the routine. Throughout this video, I will demonstrate the full routine for you. However, for now, it's important to focus on proper form for each exercise. We will go over the sets and reps at the end of the routine. Let's start by unlocking your tight mid and upper back with a stretch. Begin on all fours with your hands positioned under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. To make this stretch more effective, place a foam roller, ball, or folded up pillow between your legs and squeeze it together. Engage your core muscles to straighten your back and push the floor away to straighten your arms. Then, take a deep exhale as you reach your left arm under and across your body as far as you can. As you do this stretch, allow your right arm to bend slightly. You should feel a deep stretch in your mid and upper back, and possibly even your lats. Next, bring your left hand back behind your neck and push the floor away with your right hand. Follow your elbow with your eyes as you rotate it up towards the ceiling, but only as far as you can comfortably go. You should feel some of your mid and upper back muscles working as you do this. Hold the top position briefly, and then come back down. I'm going to show you next is called the YTWL and it targets the muscles in your upper back rear shoulders and rotator cuffs. Start by lying face down on the ground with your arms extended out in a Y shape above your head. Your thumbs should be pointing up and your palms should be facing towards each other. This is the Y position. Next, move your arms down and out to the sides so they form a T shape with your body. Your palms should still be facing down towards the ground. This is the T position. Then, bend your elbows to form a W shape with your arms. Your palms should be facing up towards your head in this position. Finally, move your arms down to your sides and then out to a 45 degree angle from your body with your palms facing down. This is the L position. Make sure to keep your head and neck in a neutral position throughout the exercise and engage your shoulder blades as you move through each position. 
Start with 10 reps of each position and work up to 3 sets of 10 reps over time. Lift your chest and legs off the ground at the same time, using your back and glute muscles. Hold this position for a few seconds, squeezing your shoulder blades together and keeping your neck in a neutral position. Then lower back down and repeat for several repetitions. Make sure you're not arching your back or lifting your chin too much. You want to engage your back muscles without straining your neck. If you feel any discomfort, lower the range of motion or stop the exercise altogether. This exercise can be challenging at first, so start with a small number of repetitions and work your way up as your back muscles get stronger. It's better to do a few reps with good form than a lot of reps with bad form. Incorporate this exercise into your routine regularly, along with the stretching exercises, to improve your posture and alleviate any pain or discomfort from sitting too much. Direction and repeat the circle with your arms in the opposite direction. Make sure to keep your neck relaxed and your gaze towards the floor throughout the exercise. Aim for 10 to 15 repetitions in each direction. Remember to start with a lighter band or weight if necessary, and gradually increase the resistance as you get stronger. Don't push yourself too hard and listen to your body. Over time, these exercises will help improve your posture and alleviate pain and discomfort associated with prolonged sitting and poor posture. Upper body on the floor, and lift your arms and legs off the ground simultaneously, holding for a few seconds before lowering back down. This exercise is called the Superman. As you get stronger, you can progress to the Y circle exercise. Remember to start with a small range of motion and gradually increase it over time. Aim for 2 to 3 sets of 10 to 12 repetitions, resting for 30 seconds to a minute in between sets. And as always, focus on maintaining good form and engaging your back and shoulder muscles throughout the exercise. Understand that fixing your posture is not just about doing a few exercises. You also need to be mindful of your posture throughout the day. Here are some tips to help you maintain good posture. 1. Sit up straight and keep your shoulders back. 2. Keep your feet flat on the ground when sitting. 3. Avoid crossing your legs for extended periods. 4. Take breaks from sitting and stand up and stretch. 5. When standing, distribute your weight evenly on both feet. 6. Avoid leaning on one hip when standing. 7. Keep your chin parallel to the ground and avoid jutting your head forward. By incorporating these tips into your daily routine and consistently doing the exercises we've gone over, you can make significant improvements to your posture and overall health. Your posture can be really helpful. Remember to also pay attention to your work setup. Make sure your computer screen is at eye level, adjust your chair to have good lumbar support, and take breaks to stretch and move around. These small changes can make a big difference in your overall posture and health. Address any tightness in your hip flexors. Start by kneeling on one knee with your other foot flat on the ground in front of you, making sure that knee is also bent at a 90 degree angle. Keep your core engaged and gently push your hips forward until you feel a stretch in the front of your hip. Hold this for 30 seconds on each side. Next, we'll move on to the glutes. Lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the ground. Squeeze your glutes and lift your hips up towards the ceiling, making sure to engage your core and not arch your back. Hold for a few seconds before lowering back down to the ground. Do 3 sets of 10 to 12 reps. To really target the glutes, you can also try a single leg glute bridge. Start in the same position as before, but lift one foot off the ground and straighten it out in front of you. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling while keeping that foot off the ground. Hold for a few seconds before lowering back down. Do 3 sets of 10 to 12 reps on each side. Finally, we'll work on strengthening the muscles around your knees. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and slowly lower down into a squat, making sure to keep your knees behind your toes and your back straight. Hold for a few seconds before standing back up. Do 3 sets of 10 to 12 reps. Remember to incorporate these exercises into your routine consistently to see the best results and improve your lower body strength and posture. Water sitting on top of your pelvis. Make sure your front knee is directly above your ankle and that your back leg is extended straight behind you. Gently press your hips forward until you feel a stretch in the front of your hip and thigh. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds and then switch sides. Repeat this stretch 2 to 3 times on each side. 
Next, let's move on to strengthening your glutes. One great exercise is the hip thrust. Begin by sitting on the ground with your back against a bench or elevated surface. Place a resistance band above your knees and position your feet flat on the ground, hip width apart. Drive through your heels and lift your hips up towards the ceiling, squeezing your glutes at the top of the movement. Lower your hips back down to the ground and repeat for 12 to 15 reps for 3 sets. Incorporating these hip flexor stretches and glute strengthening exercises into your routine can help fix your lower body posture and prevent pain and injury in the future. Remember to continue to move throughout the day and break up prolonged periods of sitting with walking or standing. Move on to the glute strengthening exercises. The first exercise is the glute bridge. Lie on your back with your knees bent and feet flat on the floor. Place your arms by your side, palms facing down. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling while squeezing your glutes at the top of the movement. Lower your hips back down to the starting position and repeat for 10 to 15 reps. The second exercise is the single leg glute bridge. Perform the same movement as the glute bridge, but with one leg extended straight up towards the ceiling. Lower your hips down towards the ground and lift back up using only the glute of the leg that is still on the ground. Do 10 to 15 reps on one leg before switching to the other. Incorporate these exercises into your routine two to three times a week, and don't forget to stretch your hip flexors regularly to maintain good posture and activation of your glutes. A brief rest and repeat for 10 to 15 reps. It's important to focus on squeezing your glutes hard and keeping your core engaged throughout the entire movement to ensure maximum activation of the glutes. If you find it difficult to maintain this position, you can start by doing the exercise with just one leg at a time and gradually progress to using both legs. Incorporating this exercise into your routine along with regular movement and exercise can help strengthen your glutes, improve your posture, and alleviate pain and discomfort associated with prolonged sitting. How to strengthen your glutes and improve posture To start improving your posture, it's important to address weaknesses in the lower body, particularly the glutes. Weak glutes are a common issue for people who sit for extended periods of time, and this can lead to poor posture and other health problems. But before you start strengthening your glutes, it's important to stretch your hip flexors, which can inhibit glute activation if they're tight. To stretch your hip flexors, start on all fours and bring your right knee close to a wall or elevated surface like a bench or chair. Place your back foot on the wall or bench and step your other foot forward so your shin is vertical. Breathe into your core, level your hips, and lean forward to deepen the stretch. Next, to strengthen your glutes, lie on your back with your knees bent and feet flat on the floor. Angle your elbows away from you and push them into the ground. Engage your core to flatten your lower back, squeeze your glutes, and lift your hips up. Hold for 5 seconds before coming back down, making sure to avoid arching your lower back. If you feel this exercise in your quads, move your feet further away from you. If you feel it in your hamstrings, move your feet closer. To progress the exercise, you can work on one leg at a time. Perform this routine at least twice a day and make an effort to move more throughout the day. For more exercises and personalized workout plans, visit buildwithscience.com and take the analysis quiz. Remember, consistency is key to improving your posture and overall health.